will be introducing you with this Evive Starter Kit, which is basically a Arduino Mega based educational kit supporting this STEM education. Okay, so in this video, I will let you know what all components you get inside this kit. Basically, what's the box content? I will also let you know what are the features of this particular device. And in the end, I will let you know what variety of projects you can make using this particular Evive Starter Kit. So watch this video till the end and I will let you know everything about this Evive Starter Kit. So let's get started. So this is how you will receive this kit. This is nice packaging in the black cardboard box with some graphical images just to attract the students as this kit is for students who are eight years and above. So this is for beginners as well as the masters in this Arduino. Okay, this kit is for everyone. So step by step, I will let you know what different things you get inside this particular kit and what are the features. So let's just open this box and see what we get inside it. So as opening the box we get a letter which says welcome to stem safari so this letter is basically about this kit and their company and further it is mentioned as they are providing an online course worth 60 dollar for free along with this kit so that's a great news and secondly they have mentioned their other two products except this particular hardware kit so another product of this company is called the picto blocks which is a block based programming software and the last is the Dabble. Dabble is basically a mobile application. So right now they have application just for Android mobiles and uh, the company says they will soon launch one application for iOS devices as well. So this is all about this letter. Let's just keep it aside. Then we get a young maker's guide. So I think it's getting started guide kind of thing. Okay, so it's basically described everything regarding the kit, what components are included in this particular kit, as well as uh, they have the introduction to programming and why it is important. And wow, they also have electronic essentials, I mean, electronic basic, what is current, what is voltage, what is resistance. I mean, amazing, they have explained everything in very much detail so this kit uh, is for the students starting from eight years age so that students may not know uh, anything regarding the voltage current resistant but they are if they are curious to learn this kind of thing then this guide will definitely help them to learn everything from the basic and this is for you parents if you are thinking that your child should learn something unique in this summer vacation then i think this will be the best option for you. So watch this video and let's see what you will get inside this kit and how it will be beneficial for your child. Okay. So other than that, we get this leaflet kind of thing. Okay. This is basically like getting started on uh, how to get started with this particular kit. So this is the steps for battery installation. And yeah, other than that, we get the detailed labeled diagram of this kit. So this kit not only includes the Arduino mega board, but it also includes this 1.8 inch uh, LCD interface, a TFT LCD interface. Then we have two potentiometers, two toggle buttons, two push buttons on battery, battery charging module. Then we get this uh, a multimeter kind of connectors to measure voltage and current. Then we have motor driver IC. We have touch capacitive touch sensor. Yes, this kit has 12 capacitive touch sensors. Then we have slots for Zigbee, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well. Okay, so this kit contains a lot. No matter if you are a beginner or master, in this kit, you can start with the basic LED blinking code and to the advanced IoT level codes as well. So this kit is ready for everything. Okay, let's just keep it aside. And here is the kit. If I remove this foam sheet, then this is the main product called Evive. And uh, other than that, we get this uh, acrylic chassis which is i think for making this kind of robots okay so let us take out all the components because there are many let us take out all the components and put it on the desk and then we'll discuss further regarding everything okay this is the evive starter kit i mean look at the number of components they have provided there are electrical components there are mechanical components as well so we have this ultrasonic sensor we have photoresistors we have ir sensor we have bluetooth we have nuts and bolts we have chassis we have tires servo motor bo motor led resistor batteries everything they have provided in this starter kit so no need to go outside in the market for purchasing any component they have provided almost everything they have provided even a screwdriver for this nuts and bolts so this is amazing you are getting a lot in this kit so let us focus on the main component this is the main product called the evive evive kit okay 
this is the brain of this uh, whole kit okay and if we open this uh, slab we will get uh, some connections inside it okay so here are the female headers for making any connections we also get a tiny little breadboard so we can just plug the components inside it and get started with the project we don't even require external breadboard for our project so we have slots for esp266 we have slots for the uh, zigbee we have slot for uh, bluetooth then we have that regular arduino mega pins here and this kit is also compatible with all arduino sheets so that is also pretty amazing then uh, here are some leds one is for RXTX and this is pin 13 LED of Arduino of course then on the side we have this uh, internal or external power button then we have 3.3 volt we have 5 volt we have V in pin we can insert e uh, either jack or if we can insert this uh, uh, we, wrote, we can say the female connectors we can program it through that regular uh, USB cable which we get on inside the Arduino board and then we have the slots for motor servo motor DAC graph and here is a slot for memory card and here is the tft lcd okay so let's just insert the battery and turn on this device and let's see what we get by default okay okay so this is the inside look of this particular kit so as you can see this is the arduino mega board directly attached on the back side of this kit and uh, all of the supporting components okay so here is a slot for inserting the battery okay so i will take this battery so let's see how much capacity of battery they have provided in this particular kit so this is basically a, a 2600 mAh battery that is nice 2600 is more than enough for uh, any projects to run for a couple of hours okay so let's just uh, remove this double sided tape and stick our battery in the right position let's just first insert this probe and stick the battery okay so now i will stick it here okay so perfect let's just put on the case okay so let's just turn on this device by this button right now it is at off position let's just uh, move on the left side which says internal to power it on with the internal battery and if we turn it on external it will be turned on with the external power supply if attached okay so i'll put the button here so as you can see the lcd turned on here is the power light and here is the battery door which says it's its full charge right now and uh, this is what we get uh, by default on this evive kit okay so we can scroll the menu by this button okay so first of all we have controls let's see what's there in this control so we have controls for motors servos and stepper motors as well so if you click on this motor and uh, click on this motor one and uh, okay so as you can see we can uh, set the pwm of the motor by rotating this particular knob at this uh, uh, first position this is nice and we can attach the motors directly here so let's just attach this motor then we have one for sensing sensing we can yeah we can use this probe to sense the voltage and the current okay so we can attach this particular probes and use this particular device as a multimeter as well then we have a mini oscilloscope so we can measure the signals okay inside this particular small screen then we have serial monitor which is the basic serial monitor which we get inside the arduino ide that serial monitor we can observe the data here also okay uh, pin state monitor is basically the uh, digital pin state if i just press this button as you can see the 20 uh, the 38 uh, uh, pin is connected with this button or this button is connected with the 38 pin so we can see that the button the state changes as we press the button so it is one and it is zero one zero one zero okay so this is how you can check the digital as well as analog pins as well as you can see if i turn this knob uh, the the values at i don't know which value is changing okay so the value at the pin 9 is changing right now it is at 1023 and as you can see the pin 9 value changes to 299 and it is zero so 1023 to zero so this is how you can measure or monitor the analog digital pins in this particular default code then we have beta function generator so that we can generate the square wave sine wave anything in this particular thing then we have the touch sensors the touch sensors are inside this particular thing which 
okay so here are the slots for the touch sensor i think it's visible in this top angle camera so here are the 12 slots for 12 touch sensors okay then other than touch sensor we have some example codes also built in let's see what are they so first of all we have a blink analog input so let's see this example so in this example this led blink the blinking rate of led changes with this potentiometer so just observe carefully so as i increase the value of this potentiometer the led is blinking very slowly and if i decrease this value of potentiometer so the led is blinking very fast okay so as you can see this is uh, the example code provided in this particular vibe kit so this is running perfectly okay so yeah this is all about the inbuilt code or inbuilt firmware of this evive kit so now i will let you know how you can program this particular evive kit with the picto block application they have provided and after that we will have a look over the double application and in the end i will let you know what variety of projects you can build using this particular evive kit so let's move on to the laptop and see how to program it so here is the download page both for Windows and Mac OS. I have already downloaded this uh, PictoBlocks application. So I will just uh, straight away open that and let's see how it looks. Okay. So this is the PictoBlock software. So as you can see, there are many blocks available on the left hand side. So we just need to drag that box and drop into this main screen and the code will automatically be generated without even writing a single line here. Okay. So what I will do to demonstrate this particular software I will make a simple program of turning on this LED at pin 13 by this button. Uh, when As soon as I press this particular button, the LED at pin 13 should turn on and as soon as I release this button, the, pin at, the LED at pin 13 should turn off. So this is a simple code and let's see how easy it is to program inside this particular picto blocks. So first of all, we'll click on this board and select Evive as we are uploading this on Evive board. Okay. So as you can see, the, all the functions related to Evive appear here. Now what I will do. I will click on this when evive startup. So as soon as the evive startup, what I need to do? So I will click on this uh, events button. I yeah, will select this forever function. Now what is this forever function means? Uh, as I, I need this program to run forever. I don't want this program to run only once. Okay, I want this function to run forever. Hence, we need to select forever to make your functions run forever. <laughs> How simple it is, okay? Okay, so after forever, we need to insert one if condition means if the button is pressed, then the LED should turn on else the LED should turn off. So we will select if and else function here and will drop inside the forever. Okay, now we'll go to this divide and we'll drag this and drop here. This says tactile switch one is pressed. So if tactile, this is tactile switch one and this is tactile switch two. So if tactile switch one is pressed, then what we need to do? We have to define that here. Okay. So what we'll do, we will set the pin 13 at high position. High means on and low means off. Okay. So if the tactile switch one is pressed, the digital pin will be high. Else, else what? The digital pin 13 should turn low so that's it this is all about the code now if we click on this upload button you can see the code is already written and i haven't written a single line here so now what we need to do we just need to click on this particular device uh, okay so the device is now connected i will click on this upload button so the code will be uploaded onto this particular device as simple as that so as you can see the RXT plane is uh, blinking that means the program is being uploaded on this particular Arduino board. So yeah the program is uploaded let's just test this program. Yes so as you can see when I press the button the LED is turned on and I release the button the LED is turned off. So the program is uploaded successfully and it is also running successfully. So you have observed how easy it is to program on this evive kit by just drag and drop method and you can make some amazing projects out of this particular kit by using this particular drag and drop, uh, drag and drop method. And they have also provided one application which is uh, the table application. So when you go into the play store and if you search this word table, the first application will be the table software from Stampedia. Okay. So here is the devil software, which is a Bluetooth based software. So that application can communicate with this particular hardware via Bluetooth interface. Okay. So with that application, you have many options available. So as you can see here, so the, as you can see here, there is the LED brightness control option, the terminal, the serial monitor option, the game pad, the pin state monitor, as we have seen on this tiny little screen, then inputs, then motor controls, then 
camera then phone sensors then so there are many many control options available in this android application and the soon it will be available for ios as well so let's see what different kind of projects you can make using this particular evive kit using pictoblocks and using this dabble android application so let's have a look was amazing projects which was built just using this evive kit so i hope you like this particular introduction video about this evive kit so in future i will think of making some unique projects other than what you have seen right now so i will think of making a different project using this particular kit and will soon upload it on my youtube channel so i hope you like this introduction video about evive kit and if yes then do give a like to this video if you want to buy this evive kit i will attach its link in the description of this video and i will also attach the link about the company in the description of this video so yeah subscribe my channel if you have to learn more about the electronics iot automation related projects and also this kind of introduction video regarding new products available in the market i also used to upload some explained videos on different technology and different uh, sensors and i also used to make some short but useful videos so yeah wait for my next video till then explore learn share with me techie sms